Hey guys, so here we are with the X-Files Season 2, Episode 2, and in the uh, last episode, of course, it was the premiere of Season 2, and it's it's funny how, because I've watched ha at least half of the second season of the X-Files, so I know how good season two is, and it's, I think it took uh, about an episode or two to really, like, jump into um, some, like, really big and really, like, great moments for season two, um, and so the last episode, um, it was a little bit slow, but even though it was slow, it was... Um, I wouldn't even really say it was slow. It just, because there was still a lot to it. Um, I don't know. It's just knowing as much as I know what happens in season two compared to the other episodes. It's like a perfect, you know, arc into what ends up happening. But anyway, yeah. So... Um, if you want to check out this episode or any of the others all the way up until midway through season two, uh, you can check that out at my Patreon in the link in the description below. And this episode um, is going to end up being the last episode that I'm going to end up doing an edited version and uploading onto YouTube. Um, it is going to end up being just a Patreon only um, type of show. So if you want to watch me continue doing um, the X-Files, there are a couple of different tiers there uh, on, in my Patreon that you can check out. But um, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Ooh, I like me some ocean stuff. Let's do it. The Russian boat. Gonna be something in there. to catch in 45 minutes where am i going murder case newark new jersey murder Treat case yourself. front side of the body is pretty much eaten away you'd like us to turn him over for you no, i'll take your word on that hey agent Morgan. how do they find the body? the body wrap it up and send it to the fbi care of assistant director skinner put my off agent Mulder, please Oh, nice. Agent Mulder, will you please inform the room as to why you regard your homicide case in New Jersey as meaningless? It seemed to me like a simple drug land body dump, not the type of case the FBI normally wastes its time or manpower on. Although there is something to this one, though. Oh, what about this case you're working on? It's a zero. Where's the body? They transferred it to our forensics lab. Look, Scully, I know what you're trying to do. Maybe He's I can trying request to, help. to do the autopsy. It's an exercise. Skinner is just rubbing my nose in this one. Body is an adult male with advanced tissue decomposition, weighing 165 pounds in extremis, 69 inches in length. Nine inches. Show some nodular hardening consistent with incipient alcoholism. Oh, God. Oh. Does he have like no legs or something? Oh my god. Ugh. I'm gonna get help. Okay, well can you like finish pulling him up all the way? I'm gonna give you a tetanus booster just as a precaution. I'd be happy if you just give me something to get this taste out of my mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
God, I couldn't imagine. Take a look. This is Agent Mulder of the FBI. Any idea what attacked you? Yeah, I've been thinking it might have been a python. A python? Oh, yeah, he just slammed that shot right Somebody in there. probably flushed their pet snake down the toilet. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Who is this? Agent Mulder. Oh, he's got another one. Yeah. If you don't have any more questions, I'm going to release this man. Okay, go ahead. This was living inside the body? Apparently, it had attached itself to the bile duct and was feeding off the liver. Yeah. Lovely. How do these parasites attach themselves? They have what's called a scolex. It's a sucker-like mouth with four hooking spikes. Does it look like, like this? that? Where'd you get that? Something attacked a worker. Ugh, in it New looks Jersey terrible sewers. on the photo. Are you asking me if this is from a fluke? Could it be? It's huge. Mulder, the scolex is a tiny little organ. This is a huge bite mark. How big can these things get? Thing looks nasty. He still have a nasty taste in his mouth. Ew. Ugh. Don't smoke, kids, or you might die. And I don't mean by the cigarette. Yeah, that thing's freaking huge. Eh. Looks like a person. She know Russian? Scully. Scully, it's me. You know that fluke you caught? Yeah. It must have been the run to the litter. Yep. I guess you really do have a friend in the FBI. Yep. I don't think he's gonna quit. I had my reaction to them this morning in my conversation with the federal prosecutor's office about how to process the suspect. This meeting is to evaluate your work. Oh. The Justice Department has asked the suspect be transferred to an institution for a full psychiatric evaluation. This is not a man. It's a monster. You can't put it in an institution. Yeah. What do you do with it, Agent Muller? Put it in a zoo? It killed two people. The sanitation worker who was attacked was found dead in his home as a result of his injuries. Yep. Agent Scully and I might have been able to save that man's life, but you shut us down. I know. I'm regretting it. You should have been an X-File. We all take our orders from someone, Agent Mulder. So he just admitted it wasn't his idea. It needs to be sent to a, like a lab or something. gonna break out. You gonna die, dude. Ugh. I would not have wiped that on your pants. Why, why would you wipe that on your pants? And if you were if you requested backup, why would you end up opening that door by yourself? It's a porter potty. That doesn't go to the sewer. Shitty job. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Okay, if there was a dead body or a crime scene, they would not allow a porter potty to be like taken out or cleaned or whatever like that. Oh, unless he went out of the area. Well, we got a dead marshal and an escaped prisoner. Other than that, we got Buckus. We got a police line in a two mile radius. Yeah, it needed to be farther. Drains, any access to the sewer system is going to try to get back underground. The system's full of enough filters and screens that nothing much bigger than your little finger is going to get through. If it's here, it's going to be trapped here. Guess all we Hopefully. can do is wait. With the treatment plant, I was playing a hunch it might have gotten back into the system. How? Forget it, it's stupid. Well, you're not going to like what I have to tell you. Uh-oh. -uh. It hadn't occurred to me, but I think that the fluke in the corpse might have been an incubating larva. This creature, or whatever it is, is transmitting its eggs or larvae through its bite. You mean it's trying to reproduce? It's looking for hosts. Yeah. Not worried about putting on boots now. Mm. Let's see if we can get that gate closed. I have a feeling this guy's about to turn into a host or something. He's gonna fall in. Yep. Hey! Oh. Knew it. Could you imagine? Ugh. They just get chopped in half. Ugh, sure did. Nasty. Human? Yes, but still capable of spontaneous regeneration like any fluke or flatworm. How does that happen? Radiation, Regeneration? abnormal cell fusion, the suppression of natural genetic processes. You know, they say three species disappear off the planet every day. You wonder how many new ones are being created. Hmm. Gonna be it. God, man, they made that thing look nasty. Ugh. Ugh. Man. That was a good episode, though. I mean, most of these are good. I feel like every episode I say, man, that's a good episode, but... It's true, though. Most of the stuff that I watch is, like, requested or recommended for me to watch. So, except for, like, maybe some of the newer things, but they're usually things that I like pretty sure that I'm going to end up liking. So yeah. Ooh. Anyway, this one was especially nasty though. <laughs> uh, anyway, alrighty. And if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for anything else that I do, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you in the next episode.